As we have seen in fluid kinetics, different kinds of fluid flow. In fluid dynamics, we are going to see application of force in fluid mechanics. <laughs> Introduction to dynamics that is fluid dynamics. Now let us study what is fluid dynamics. Now in fluid dynamics we are going to see application of force on the fluid motion. So that means over here we are going to apply force which is acting on the fluid. Now we already know what is Newton's second law of motion that is summation of all the forces in a particular direction is equals to mass into acceleration in that direction. Let us consider this as x direction. So this acceleration will be in x direction. So there are different types of forces which are acting on the fluid. The first force which is acting that is force due to pressure. That is if there is a pressure difference between the two ends of the pipe then this is P1 and this is P2. If P1 is greater than P2, if there is a pressure difference, then the fluid is going to flow in towards right. So that is the force due to pressure. Next is the force due to gravity, which is always going to act downwards due to the weight of the fluid. Next force, which is going to act is force due to compressibility. Now, during application of forces of on the fluids, the fluid might compress or the fluid might expand. So, during compression or expansion, there is some amount of force which is acted upon the fluid. Next is force due to the viscosity, that is the viscous force. When the fluid is flowing in a particular direction, the topmost layer flows with a very greatest velocity, the bottommost layer is almost at stationary. So during this there is a velocity gradient between the bottommost layer to the topmost layer. So Fv is the force due to the viscosity of the fluid that is the viscous force offered by the fluid. So this we have force due to pressure, force due to gravity, force due to compressibility, force due to viscosity and the last force is Ft the force due to the turbulence of the fluid that means actually what is turbulence when the fluid is flowing there will be turbulence in the adjacent layer of the liquid that means the topmost layer of the liquid will come in contact with the third or the fourth or the fifth most layer so the turbulence will be formation of waves so due to which there will there is some additional resistance to the flow of the fluid so these are the all five types of forces which are acting on the fluid that will be equals to the mass into acceleration in a particular direction let us consider it is along x direction so fp is the pressure force Fg is force due to gravity or weight. This is due to compressibility. Fv force due to viscosity. And Ft is the force due to turbulence. Now this equation is actually Newton's second law of motion. So now these are the all the types of forces which is acting on the fluid. Now if now if in this entire all these types of force if force due to if the force due to turbulence is zero then what do we get the equation as force due to pressure plus force due to gravity plus force due to viscosity plus force due to compressibility is equals to mass into acceleration in a particular direction. Now if you don't consider the force due to turbulence then this equation becomes Reynolds equation. That means we can consider the force 
this the fluid motion not the force the fluid motion as a laminar flow in which there will be some viscous force but the turbulence the force due to turbulence is zero now let us see let us analyze few more constraints in this equation the next constraint over here is if the force due to compressibility is zero now in reynolds equation itself let us let me write down reynolds equation fp plus fg plus fp plus fc is equals to mass into acceleration along x direction this is what is reynolds equation now if, so in reynolds number if fc is equals to zero that is the force due to compressibility is zero then what do we get over here that is the force due to pressure plus force due to gravity plus force due to viscosity is equals to mass into acceleration in x direction so this uh, equation is called as navier's stoke equation navier's stoke equation in Navier-Stokes equation, two things are equal to zero. That is, F C is equal to zero, as well as F T is equal to zero. So that means we assume the fluid is incompressible. That means if it is an incompressible fluid, then there is no change in its density, as well as the force due to turbulence is also zero. Only three forces which are acting due to pressure, due to weight, and due to viscosity of the fluid. Now. If in this Navier-Stokes equation we put over here that is force due to viscosity is a zero that means if uh, force due to viscosity is zero that means actually the viscosity is zero if the viscosity is zero then the fluid is called as ideal fluid now for ideal fluid we get this as equals to Fp plus fg is equals to mass into acceleration in x direction this equation is actually called as euler's equation or euler's equation so there are four types of equation that is first type we have seen that are sum of all the forces along x direction is equals to mass into acceleration in x direction the types of fluid Forces which is acting on the fluid are pressure force, weight, compressibility, force due to viscosity and turbulence. Now if force due to turbulence is zero, then force due to pressure, gravity, viscosity and compressibility is equal to mass into acceleration. That means we are assuming there is no turbulence in the fluid, then the flow of the uh, then the flow of the fluid is laminar if the flow of the fluid is laminar then the equation is called as the reynolds equation now if in reynolds equation fc is zero then we see that the force due to pressure gravity and viscosity is equals to mass into acceleration it is called as the navier stoke equation and in navier stoke equation fv is equals to zero that means force due to the viscosity is zero that means there is no viscosity of the fluid there is only one fluid which doesn't have viscosity that is an ideal fluid for an ideal fluid force due to pressure and gravity is equals to mass into acceleration in that particular direction so i hope you have understood what is fluid dynamics a short introduction to fluid dynamics thank you